Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode seven of Fargo, which is called The Law of Inevitability. My God, this season is growing on me every single episode. I was worried at the beginning it was going to be kind of too conceptual and not enough character. It still doesn't have enough character for me, but I actually think the way that it's being executed which is very narrative driven. It's a great story. They're, tell they're telling a really interesting story. I was really surprised last episode uh, to see Ray go. It felt early. I, I didn't anticipate something like that happening until maybe eight, nine, following the patterns of previous episodes. It really does, I think, liberate several characters from their moral center. Emma is now fully on the dark side. Lord only knows how Nikki is going to respond when she realises fully what's happening here. I think Gloria and Winnie Lopez are just moving forward. I was actually thinking after the last episode what my frustration was and I've realised that basically Gloria and Winnie almost they, they are functional characters they function to move the plot forward they don't really have much sort of um personal character development we're not really going on a journey with either of them at the point or at least not not one i can identify i appreciate we're, we're witnessing gloria go through the merger of the police forces and it's clear that she doesn't like change and she's clearly quite stuck but again that stuff we knew kind of episode one which is why we say development is the idea that over time you learn more things about the character and they change and so does your view of them change that's not what's happening with gloria i don't feel any differently towards her since episode one i haven't really learned anything more about her but i do like her i really like her i love that she's partnering up with winnie i think <laughs> they are the odd couple and perfect for each other and it and the wheels are beginning to fall apart so it strikes me as the inevitability is that this is all going to come crashing down and many many more people are going to die i really need rian varga to die and it needs to be brutal without further ado let's have at it we straight in Ta -ta. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's another song ruined. Why is he in Emmett's house opening Christmas presents? Oh, God. Shit. Oh God. Is it though? Is it though? She's gone? Fuck Nikki. This is unfair. He's off for dinner with Goldfarb. So is... Is Varga at his house opening his Christmas presents ah, while he's devil. at this dinner? I could use a drink. Anybody else? We're drinking rosé. Uh, old fashioned in the rocks. Me and my late husband. We started in mortuaries. Oh, just another kind of storage, I suppose. <laughs> Heck, maybe we should be buying you out. Oh. Uh, well, no. Calm down. You don't get where I am by sticking to the plan. Hmm. It's a new friends. 
New friends. His ego is on a trip right now. Nikki, now's the time to tell the truth to the sisterhood, please. No. Is this how she's fighting out? He's dead. In case you couldn't tell. When it snows, I put on boots. Oh, look at her face. I see a girl like you and a guy like that, I think. Now, how's a working man with hillbilly hair in a beer belly land in this state penitentiary 2010? Would you stop me if I got it wrong? Stop. You're fucking wrong. If this wasn't some kind of tit for tat, hand job, get your work release program. Oh. No? That's what I thought. History of domestic violence with a beer drinking loser. You don't have to be a mathematician to add two plus two. Your best bet, dear jerker. What a monster he was. How he beat you every night where it wouldn't show. I'll leave a picture in case you're the type of girl that likes to take pride in her work. What is she gonna say? These two are so freaking cute. They're also a lot smarter than the other two guys in the room. Should I start or? Is she mine? No. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. St. Cloud Homicide's gonna handle this case. You're both gonna go back to what you do? Traffic enforcement. Traffic enforcement. Yes, sir. Gloria Burgle, Chief of the Eden Valley Police. For about another week. I might like to talk to the suspect, Nikki Swangle, probably right now. I just talked to her. Which I'm sure was enlightening for her, but without all the proper nuance. See, I got a paper grid that lays out all the interrelated parties delineating their personal and professional relationship to the murders. It's a substantial document. Murders plural? No. Yes, sir. Three so far. The first victim being Anastasia of Eden Valley, which again is my purview. Mm -hmm. Anna's a greengrocer, was suffocated by Maurice Lafay, a last I checked resident of St. Cloud and repeat offender who was on probation under the supervision of Ray Stussy, our current victim. Maurice Lafay, in case you were wondering, also died under mysterious circumstances, making him victim number three. Allegedly. And at the heart of the case, yes. he believed to be a right. Unfortunately, Ray's plan, as far as I can tell, went off the rails, resulting in the death of my random Stussy and the reason I'm sitting here today. Only an intellectual could believe something so stupid. Oh. Well, sirs. Get back to traffic enforcement. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. And you. I got no jurisdiction over you. But this is St. Cloud Metro's case now. Sir. You're dismissed. Wait for me outside. Grow up. Why do these people even become... Oh, because so they can have the power. Yes, that's it then. You need to find Emmett. Try his officer at home. Tell him Ray died under suspicious circumstance. Gage his reaction. Are you sure? That's... I want to brace the girlfriend. Try to get some answers. Go. Either you're on vacation to the handover. Take some time to grieve. Be with your family. Merry Christmas. All that. Or start looking for another job. Happy holidays, sir. That's what I thought. Yes! Yeah, I'm supposed to talk to Swango, looks like, Nikki. Form? I don't. Uh, is there any way? I was supposed to be out of here an hour ago, Christmas Eve and all that. My boy at home. He's 12. I think I got a picture here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> One flight up, you said? All right. <laughs> don't you take your gun. Donnie, take your gun. Oh, Donnie, you can't just leave a gun on a desk in the public library. Ah, and there you go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bye, Donnie. Oh, no. Oh no, 
I did my this. Donnie, Hello? come on. Some spiky senses, please. <gasps> no! No! Uh, sir? You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, come the fuck on! Sir? You're gonna have to leave. I just did. What? What? You asked and I left. I'm not here. Let's... I see you. You think you see me, but your eyes are lying. Wow. The gun is there on the counter. Pick it up, your gun. That was like a Lord Malvo, you know, choose your course correctly moment. But what was the point of it? Is he waiting for Gora? What the fuck? Oh no, he was reading the file. What's it saying? If you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, hunt it down and kill it. Is the version I heard. <laughs> wow, he's on a power trip. Uh, my front office guy took a look at your numbers and he said your book's really sick. Mm, well then, I say we call it a night oh. and I'll get our attorney started on the paperwork. So I said your husband died. That's not, we don't need to. Jesus. Okay. No. My toe won't. It'll be a year in May he passed. Do you have a... Stella. 25 years. She left last week. Sex tape. <laughs> it's not a real one, of course. I mean, it was a real sex tape, just not my, you know, forgery. To the end of securing a payout, which, you know, that's the price of it, I guess, being rich. All for ourselves and nothing for other people is the vile maxim of the masters of mankind. Oh. You think a rich man ruled that? No. It's the <laughs> others, the grubby hands outside the glass trying to get in, putting their filthy peckers in. What the Christ? This is bordering on harassment now. Oh my God. What's happening? I've been here since six. What the hell? I've been sitting here all night gabbing. So I'll tell you business. Or, or more uh, uh, social, I guess. I had a few drinks. What the hell? Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry to say, your brother, I'm afraid he's deceased. We found his body earlier this evening. Raymond. Yes, sir. I'm sorry for your loss. Is that girlfriend the criminal? You should bring her in. Put the cuffs on. If anyone had motive. Motive for what, sir? I never we're, said. We're upset. Alcohol, spin, share. Some kind of black widow using my brother to, to get... Sir, we're, we're, we're upset. It's big news. He meant well. He was my brother. I'm going to take my friend home now. Excuse me, ma'am. Hold on. Officer Winnie Lopez, St. Cloud Metro. I'm uh, wondering if you might have a minute to answer a few questions. Yes. I love Winnie and Gloria. You think this was him, Varga? After what happened to Irv, trying to get to you? The bus first. What's your angle here? Like here your we go. Angle. You don't think it's funny? The timing. Ray coming to the party, demanding money. Him and his girl with us in the black. And how he gained access to my safety deposit box. 
you and Ray. Just turn it on the side. Did he, is that what he's telling you? Varga, because that's just crazy, is it? You really think I'm... Oh, uh, get outside. That I decided to what, turn on you? Join forces with your leptard brother and his syphilitic floozy so I could turn millions into thousands? <laughs> What's the math there? Well done, Sai. I'm sorry, I just... You're a dick. You can always trust me. We gotta hit the eject button here on the whole. Take the money and run. I feel like he's gonna die. Anything you need, day or night. Sai is way more loyal than he needs to be. <gasps> oh my god! Oh god, Sai, just go.